What's going on YouTube, Pro Man's here, welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. It's strange, but I'm gonna start by Well, I would've got a stagecoach. Pay your bounty to stagecoach. I've got a bounty over there. Howdy there, welcome. Pay bounty. Happy to help you start over. Okay. Be seeing you. Okay. I want to get the train or something to um, St. Denise to get a mission at St. Denise. It saved me having to ride my horse all the way there. Oh, hello again. Enjoy your destination. Alright, see you in a sec, guys. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Como Driscoll. That's so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why. Despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. I dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. We're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it, as far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Holes. Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes someone. <clears throat> Brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. 
I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. Wife ran off in some bunko. Ain't seen her in weeks. Let's go. Quiet. Cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. On one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe. And... Get him, and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Hello, mister. I need to get out onto the roof. You know how I can do that? I guess you could go out on the balcony. If you took the stairs up a level. Okay. Thank you. Gallows, gallows. Which way was it? Well, you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Don't sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. <sighs> this is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life!
Let's just get out of here. Go. Well, Colm, as soon as he realised he was scared, he was, as soon as he knew he was going to die, he was shaking his boots, so to speak. He got scared, he knew he was going to die there and then, and that his boys wasn't going to get him out of it. That was fun. How you get on, Arthur? Well... We saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. Yes, mm -hmm. compared to the entire government. In the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up, and now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you, but I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. I gave me chills. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Well, wow. Trophy, third time lucky. Alright, he doesn't get to run away with Mary after the roll, so it's like he might die at the end of this game. Either get shot or by from, from t TB. Alright, All right. what mission do I do next? I'm gonna head down to there, I think, to get that one done. Probably get the stagecoach development time and get and get that one done. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Just gonna cut me down until I get there. Safe right now, but going around the wrong way. You know what? Let's just hurt myself. <laughs> just to do that. Oh, 
sorry. I thought he might have survived. Shut up. Hey, man. All right, then. Do you got any business at mine? Now, I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Thank you. Hey, move! Watch it now. Arthur London there. You hear? I'm sorry, fella, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> You might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. This your money to lend out. <laughs> okay. Come on, climb back up here. Yep. Forgive me. On your way now. Hey, uh, hold on. Alright, uh, map. I'm just there. I'm just there. I'll start the corner when I get there again. We lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? More not flat down here. No, no. Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take that house. There ain't nothing left, mister! Uh, I just wanted to say the debt canceled and to uh, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things different. Like not threaten him man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. That wasn't much money to be fair. Oh, 
Right, let's get past Strauss. Let's get that waypoint. Find a way back up to the camp. Oh, it's only just there. Not too far. What's the noise? Stop recording again when I get there. Shouldn't take too long. I'm just getting back to the camp. Straws. Hey, hey Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just that. Just. Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Getting rid of you. You time wasting maggot. Get your bag. I don't understand. Just I... get out of my sight. You waste my time. You depress me. And you're a parasite. Sending me after losers like that. Yeah, I should do. You're an embarrassment. What are you doing? We were partners! Yeah. Business partners! Go get a new partner! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was... I was your comrade. My comrade? <laughs> You're a creep. A creep and a parasite and a time waster. Now, take that. Take that! And don't annoy me. I'm leaving. <laughs> well, hi. This is on edge. How are you feeling about Molly? This ain't got to do with that again. That's what I figured. Right, anything else close to me I've got to do? I'll head up there when I can. Still quite a way up there. Alright. I figure if I go down here, get a stagecoach. Or a train to there. And I can wind up the middle map. Do that one. And then get that one done. Back, can't see back and forth, man. That was a safe coach there, isn't it? So it's here, man. Right. I feel like I'll come here and do this one first. This was supposed to be our little adventure. Uh, you alright there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation. Well. We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. 
First thing about hunting, couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. You better not try any funny business. I won't. Now, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. Oh, it's just there. He survived, oh. but only for a couple of days after. A bow. I buried him a week ago. as well too. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh. Just keep your eyes peeled. Shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight. Pull the skin away, quickly. Should come right off. for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fit for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, it really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source, remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. 
I barely left the city before coming here. Kyle spent his summers growing up in his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more hunting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Wolf, stay back. You just smelled the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People are talking to listen to come to life. But there's nothing simple about any of it. I can't believe he's gone. Oh, it's just there. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. Crazy map. What's that now? Oh, yes, yeah, that one. Well, I've got a well, yeah, red back there to give me a small to the camp. That's why I do that on the way through. And head up to John. Right, I'll see you when I get to. Oh, no, what am I doing that for? I'll go there first. I'm almost at the way point there yet, I don't have to. So I'll see you when I get to John Marston, okay? That's nice. guys. I'm just getting to John. Oh, don't get up. What the hell happened there? Did you get hit by a train? Arthur, how you doing? Nervous? I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail. I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like you're stringing us along. I don't know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, <laughs> we all do bad things, but it's like you enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. 
I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, sure. let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. Oh, well, I was tapping it. So hold down X. I'll, I'll push it to bar down. This is erases it. Oh, I get it. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. I sure hope this is enough to blow it. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will.
Why do I feel like something's gonna go wrong? trying to do it. Oh, come on, man. It's... You don't get enough time. Do I just spam the Xbox or something? Time. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How do you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. 
I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <laughs> <coughs> 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 So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fat. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for pranks? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and a veil over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. Dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. 
See? We're tying up the loose ends, Orsus. One by one. My spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. Patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea. Put down your guns. You are making a mistake, boy. No, you're making a mistake. Put your hands up, soldier. Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Father won't be happy about this. There's a lot of fire. It's the army. It is one regiment of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. <laughs> Shit! Everyone! Keep your heads down!
Sending riders from the fort, we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. I know. I... We should go. Where's Eagle Flash? Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Flash? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! We need to ride hard. Stay with me. and sell them a little snake oil. You think? It's all I got. Get out of here. Yeah! Let's see if we can lose them down here. This is it! This... Well... Arthur... Put your hands up! I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. This is a good one. Hello! Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend, here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that now. 
It's waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. Escape from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is it? <coughs> He's probably back in camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith, Arthur. Have faith. That was fun. I thought I was dead for sure. In Dutch, at least. <coughs> Charles. Thank you for coming. Of course. The chief, he's, uh, he, he's very... Maybe you could speak to him? Yes, that's why I came. He's in his tent. Joe, sure. I'll wait for you here. you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. <laughs> he's mean. How is your father? He's dead a long time. Yeah. He lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for 
a hundred years or more. That's treason. Well, what should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favor. No, and any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes, yes. I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. So, I've been scouting the fort. The army are patrolling all the main roads and bridges in and out, but if we can get the horses across the river, I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. I trust you. No guns, just knives and arrows. Start making a lot of noise. He'll be dead before we get close to him. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. <coughs> <coughs> good. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, or you wouldn't have gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation, and that's for Dutch. <sighs> I gotta try. I own that at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If it goes bad in there, you can get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... I saw it, Doc. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you were lucky. Sure don't feel like that. You still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all them, they didn't. And what about the Calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here, 
follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But might help us with sneaking in there. The rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Alright. This should be fun. Let's get ourselves hidden and wait till it gets dark. Over here. Yes, it is. Let's keep quiet. We'll try and find a way in. Main thing is that they don't hear us. You ready? Patrol group. Hopefully, we'll be in and out before they can come back around. up front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stay close to the wall. shot on him.
Okay, Arthur, come on. Try to put an arrow into the lantern above that stack of wood over there. Start a fire. You should have a clear shot from the walkway up there. Arthur Morgan? Charles? Is that you? Got him. Come on. <clears throat> Your father sent us. My father? He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. If you say so. Oh, whoa, no. whoa. I'm fine, I'm fine. Damn it! I'll have to shoot our way out. Let's push up!
Sounds like one of their patrols is on its way back here. Come on! Let's use this tank! Them. 
Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy with your rescue. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. I'm fine. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No mention. some slide missions. What are we not teach? Don't you shoot? Oh, hey there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. If we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm going to learn to hunt, I figured it was... Time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady. And firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Whew. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. <laughs> you make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. You need to practice yourself. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. See it, that's better. 
I shoot one. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. I think that's my point real quick. Just plugging me. Height same waypoints. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. There's just so many people, so many things. I was lost in that place, crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. I don't really need the money to be fair, so... Right, uh... What's the next side mission? 
What's that? No, I don't know yet. Oh, how am I again? You know, I think I'll do this tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna live here right now. I'm gonna get a tired. It's getting late. I need to some food. I'm gonna sleep. So I'm in the morning. Hey guys, enjoy this video. Just watch it. In case you want to stop, let me know more content. Okay, guys, peace out. Just click on it. Save my game.